Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, it's clear this government just doesn't seem to get it that cuts to parks, cuts to environmental protection hurt local economies. Many coastal communities depend on the fishery and they depend on the laws that protect fish habitats. But the fisheries minister is shirking his responsibility. He's abandoning our fishing industry while giving the oil industry greater leeway to pollute and destroy fish habitats. Why is the minister putting our oceans, our lakes and rivers and our fishing communities at risk? The member officer is totally, totally wrong in, in his questioning. Uh, Mr. Speaker, what we are doing, we are refo refocusing our, our efforts uh, away from farmers' fields and, and focusing on fish and fish habitat protection, as I said yesterday. Mr. Speaker, this has the support of many people. I might like to mention one quote from the Saskatchewan Association of Rural Municipalities, who says municipalities have been paying inflated costs to accommodate the provisions of this act for over 10 years. We thank the federal government for these changes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Dartmouth, Paul Harbour. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. You know, this is not about farmers' fields and drainage ditches. Nobody's buying that line, not even farmers, Mr. Speaker. If that were the government's aim, they could have introduced minor changes to the Act in order to deal with that problem. But instead, they've written amendments that by the Minister's own admission will throw the doors open to major industrial projects at the expense of our fisheries. When will the Minister stop trying to hide his attack on fish, pre on fish protection behind law-abiding farmers? Uh, Mr. Speaker, and of course, uh, Canadians are concerned about uh, the way that DFO operates in cer certain jurisdictions, and certainly uh, farmers, uh, fields, cottage owners, municipalities are all important, Mr. Speaker, and we're listening to them. I might I'll give another quote from the, uh, from the uh, Federation of Canadian Municipalities who said, municipal leaders have consistently called for common sense reforms in Ottawa that deliver better results for Canadians. The federal government has pledged to give the Fisheries Act more teeth by introducing enforcement provi provisions where none have existed before and giving regu regulatory new tools to keep invasive species from en entering Canada. Thank you.